Hello and welcome back. My name is Seth. Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. So in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a how to set up an ASA 5510, the adaptive security appliance from Cisco, the 5510 uh, platform. In my previous videos, I've showed you how to set up the 5505, this is the 5510. So if you notice, we're already logged into our switch. Enter the enable mode. And I can tell because there is a number sign. So here, I'm going to type, uh, show version, and it is going to show me that we are using the 8.4 dot three version. My previous videos, the 5505 was using the 8.2. Um, well, starting with 8.3 and onward, and I believe they're up to nine now, Cisco made a significant change in how the nets are done. If we bring over the ASDM real quickly, you'll see that Nothing really has changed from the ASDM perspective, just minor changes, but uh, it's still pretty much the same. So you have your configuration, interface, this is where you specify your interfaces. Your routing, this is where you specify your static routes. OSPF, RIP, so on and so forth. Firewall, this is where you specify your access rules and your net objects or your net rules. If you remember in the previous, uh, my previous videos on how to set up 5505, in the 8.2 version, there was a dynamic net already created for us that was given to us by default. In the new version, in the A.4 and above, through A.3 and above, there's you're not giving any net whatsoever. So if you want everybody on the inside to go out to the internet, you would have to create a net rule yourself. Okay, so back to the firewall. So if I need to configure this firewall from the ground up, there's certain things I would need to do. So if I type in show IP interface brief exclude on show interface IP brief, it tells us all the interfaces and the IP addresses assigned to them. So let's assume that this is a brand new firewall and we need to default it. So we're going to type in config and type config factory default and then hit enter and this is going to put the switch into uh, default mode it erases everything off of it okay now that it's done we're gonna save it If I switch over to my ASDM and refresh this, you'll notice that um, this will have nothing on it. All these objects will disappear. There we go. That's fine. See, there's absolutely nothing on it. It's completely default. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. We can use the ASDM or we can use the CLI. Uh, we'll go back and forth between the two. Okay. So to start off with, I am going to um, go into config mode, and we're going to go into interface. Ethernet 
zero slash zero. This is the outside interface. Okay, we're gonna type in name if we're gonna give it a name called outside. And by default it sets the security level to zero. And then we're going to type in the IP. And we can give it our outside IP address. Followed by the subnet mask. Alright. Now we can go into now we're done with setting up the outside interface. If I type um, show interface IP brief and the IP address is there. Now we're going to go ahead and set up interface one. And we're going to call this one. Inside, and by default, the inside security level is set to 100. That means everything on the inside is trusted, and everything on the outside is not. Okay, so at this point we're pretty much done. There we go. We have our outside and our inside set up. So if we jump over to our ASDM and I go into configuration, device setup, interface, and if I refresh this, You'll see the name for the interface, security level, and the IP address should populate. There we go. Okay, if you notice the state is set to disable, well, I forgot to set, enable that. So we'll come back here, config, interface, Ethernet there slash zero no shut and if I refresh this this should turn to uh, enable and then it's refreshing now and there we go set to enable alternatively I can just go ahead and double click this and click on enable interface and click OK like I said I'm going to show you both ways we're going to save this and it should save our configuration for us. All right, so if we come over to show interface IP brief, so now that we set up our outside, our inside, we need to set up our static route. Well, how do we do that? So for that, we type, go into config mode, and we type route outside. How is everything on the inside on this from this firewall? How is it going to go? What route is it going to take? Well, your ISP should you know every ISP has a gateway, but well, we have to specify this gateway. We type in route outside zero 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 and we type in the gateway so if we type in show IP route show route now our gateway of last resort is 12.12.12.1 on this ASA, that means we'll be able to go out to the internet now. Okay, if you go over to the ASDM, in the configuration, under routing, static route, 
I hit refresh, this should put that route here for us. There we go. Firewall. Here, we're going to set up our objects. Now, objects, we can set up two ways one from the CLI or ASDM. And to do it from the ASDM, we'll come down here, click on network objects. And these are the uh, network objects created for us by default. To create a network object, we click on add network object. Here we call it a name. So in this case, we want everybody on the inside to be able to go out to the internet. So I can say, I can call it object 0, .0, 0, .0, 0. Okay. 0 and Zero. Okay, so we set up our network object. Once we set up the network object, then you have to specify what you want to do with this object. Well, in our case, uh, with the previous version of ASA 8.2, there was a default dynamic net provided to us. Well, in this newer version, we, ha we don't have that. We have to set it up ourselves. So in order to do that, we have to come, we can either set it up through here, at network object, and we'll go through this in a little bit and I'll show you, or we can come through the CLI, through config mode, and I can type in show, run, include, object include object and this is our object right here so we're going to copy this now we're in this object all I did was copy and pasted it here now we're in the object here we have to specify what we want to do with this but we want to go to the internet so how would we do that so for that we have to type net inside outside dynamic I hit question mark we have these options available to us where we want dynamic interface it says use interface address as mapped IP. I'm going to type interface. Here I hit enter. Okay, so now if we hit refresh, we should see our dynamic net that we created. There we go. So if I move this over we have a dynamic net to the outside interface preferably what you want to do is set up nets based off of dynamic nets based off of the VLANs or the IP address for that for a specific uh, location for security security reason you don't want anybody just plugging in and be able to go out say there's a certain VLAN you don't want internet accessed well, if you do this, 0, 0, 0, 0, then everybody will be able to go out. But if you do, for example, say, object 10. 10. Say there is a VLAN uh, 10. Dot twenty dot thirty dot zero and dot uh, twenty dot thirty dot zero. Down here, we're going to click on dynamic path. It's going to be translated to 
to the outside interface and click on advance and then it's inside outside there you go so now if I come here and say show run include refresh this you can see if you can see that it created the 10 20 30 0 object so our 0 0 0 object that we created and then the 10 20 30 object so this is how you would create dynamic that or dynamic net statements in the new fire and the new uh, a.4